In this lecture, we are going to talk about algorithms and what are the factors with which we can compare multiple algorithms. So what is an algorithm? We know that we, when we want to write any program, first of all, we should write an algorithm, which is a set of rules that should be followed in order to solve a problem. So if we are given a particular input, then what are the steps that need to be followed? What are the set of rules so that the expected output can be obtained? And each of the steps in the algorithm, it should be such that it is clear and unambiguous. So we can say that an algorithm is an effective procedure for solving a problem in finite number of steps. This is an important uh, thing that the algorithm should always terminate after some number of steps. Suppose there are two algorithms which are doing the same task. So both these algorithms A and B, they are performing the task of adding two numbers. So look at this first algorithm over here. There are three variables that have been declared. We are asking the user to input two numbers. We are scanning them and then we are printing the sum of these two numbers by calling a function sum of a and b. And this is the function that is called sum. So this is taking two integer variables and returning a plus b which is the addition of these two variables. This is one algorithm, one way of computing the sum of these two numbers. Take algorithm b. We start from the main program, main function over here. The two numbers are entered over here and scanned and to compute the sum a function add ab has been called. So this is that function add a b and this you can see is using some bitwise operators to compute the sum which is obtained in a and this sum is returned. So there are two ways of solving the same problem but which algorithm is better? How do we know that algorithm a is better than algorithm b or vice versa? So what are the parameters, what are the factors on which we can base this judgment? So we know that algorithms, they are designed to work with arbitrary number of inputs. So the efficiency or the complexity of an algorithm can be stated in terms of time and space. So what is time complexity? We say that the time complexity of an algorithm is the running time of a program as a function of the input size. So t is a function of the input size where n is the number of the input parameters. So does the algorithm take more time as the number of inputs increases and how much more time it is taking? That is the time complexity. How much time a program will take when it is run and when the number of inputs increase? How, how can we compute the time complexity? If we know the number of machine instructions which will be required when the program is executing and if we know that each machine instruction requires some unit time, so just know, by knowing that we can compute the time complexity. So this time complexity is dependent on the size of the input of the program and the algorithm that is used. Another factor is space complexity. What is the amount of memory or the space that will be required by the algorithm as a function of the input size? So here the space that is required is dependent upon the size of the input. Now this will depend upon two Parts. One is the fixed part and one is the variable part. 
so the fixed part it includes the space that is required for storing the instructions storing the data which consists of the constant values the variables and some structured variables like arrays and structures what is the variable part the variable part is the space that is required for the recursion stack so if we are using recursion in the program so there would be a recursion stack and some variables that would be dynamically allocated space during the runtime of a program so many a times when you see that you use functions uh, or calls like uh, malloc where you are dynamically allocating space to some variables that will come in the variable part so the space complexity would depend upon the fixed part and the variable part so we can have many different algorithms to solve a particular problem so how can we say that this is the best algorithm to solve this uh, task obviously the best algorithm would be the one which will require less memory space and it will take less time to complete its execution but designing such an ideal algorithm is not very easy it requires a lot of planning and lot of thought behind it and we can obviously have more than one algorithm which will be solving a particular problem one algorithm may require less memory space but may take more time the other may require less cpu time but require more space so what is this time space trade off that we need to take care of in today's time when space is not a major problem and we are having the availability of large storage spaces so in this particular course we are not going to look a lot on the space complexity part we are going to focus more on the time complexity